No complaints on Wednesday. The weather wasn't the best, but the skiing was ridiculous. On our tour up, Sapphire Glacier taunted us with its fresh, untracked slopes. But the weather blew in and we hung out in the Sapphire Call cabin for a bit, waiting for it to clear. It never really did. But we didn't care since we were enjoying ridiculous, ridiculous scheme. Once again, on our way back up, the sun broke out. And this time, thankfully, it stayed around a little. After two ludicrously deep runs down the Sapphire Glacier, we all left, knowing we'd probably be back tomorrow for some more. Eager from yesterday's turns, we got up here early, and these are my first turns of the day. And these are everyone else's. It's gonna be a ridiculous day again. I met Shane in the parking lot yesterday and invited him along. Hopefully he realized what kind of hooligans he was hanging around with. The first run of the day was merely a warm up for the adventure that was about to happen. Invigorated by those turns, we head up Caster Ridge. Boot backing up to the first summit. Down along the cornice rimmed ridge. And into the crux on Pollux. Can't wait for this. Oh, it's awesome, Joey. The crux of the Jupiter Traverse is this small rock move in a remote setting. Once you summit Pollux, it's a small down climb or rappel, depending on your choice, down to a notch and a boot pack to the top of Lita. And it's time to get ready for the Thorrington descent. The turns up the Lita Summit, a little windswept, still pretty good. And then we work over and roll into the Thorrington. The snow is deep settled and untouched by any wind. In other words, gorgeous. I think at the end of the day, Shane was pretty excited that he talked to us in the parking lot. 